Hello, 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 my beautiful Gemini. How are you? Welcome to this reading. It's Mia here and welcome to this channel. How are you? I hope you are well. Now, we are going to have a look at weekly energies for this September 25th through to October 1st. Yes, indeed. And plus, I'm going to have a look what angels or your spirit guides would like you to tell you. So stay tuned till the end. I will pull a couple cards what spirit wants you to know right now what's going on what you really need to know okay now i'm gonna have a look what kind of energies are surrounding you right now and then i'm gonna dive in with the tarot for the upcoming week what you need to know what's coming okay what to pay attention now what's happening this week we have full moon in aries yes indeed straight in straight in um this is so interesting because the full moon this time is actually very powerful with because Aries is the beginning of Zodiac, right? It's like the new year starting. I mean, if you look at the tarot, major arcanas, it is a fool and a magician that start the journey. It's a spirit. It's yourself. It's your mojo, okay? Because this energy about this full moon is as well calling your spirit back, taking back control of your destiny and perhaps taking some gamble, being bold with decisions, with actions as well. But just watch your short temper because sometimes this full moon Aries could, could stare some uh, some blood and some uh, unnecessary perhaps conflict and such, okay? Everything in, in um, moderation perhaps, right? Now, let's start in what's happening with you, Gemini. Privileged lady, I have to say, this is screams and oozes empowerment entitlement feeling you know whatever you are whatever is going on in your life whatever stage you are doesn't matter what age you are what you do for a living where you come from doesn't matter this feels like real you know look at the sp spring flowers here snowdrops it feels like there's some new season starting for you for you even your season is way back or not there yet but feels like you are you're born something like born again you know that sounds very uh using the kind of christianity um wording but it feels like you have a aha moment or something has landed in your uh, in your life that you are entitled is this money is this a person is this some sort of rights because privileged lady is about um my birthrights what i'm entitled to it's the feeling of feeling, um, yeah, I'm doing the right thing. I'm sticking to my guns. And whatever situation you have in your life, it does feel like you are in control. In a positive way. Not overusing the powers, not um, abusing the powers, but feeling right. Speaking up, saying your truth. Uh, perhaps even bold and of course you know you do know that there is more than one way how to say what you want to say but this feels like um i'm having a cake and i'm gonna eat it yeah and the cherry on top as well absolutely and it feels like really ballsy kind of energy but i have to say gemini this is you right um i feel like you have some realization epiphanies or some sort of a light bulb moment has happened or just yeah feeling good and it's very important yeah absolutely let's have a look this is good start right gemini this is absolutely good start yay look at what we have at the bottom we had the anxiety you're walking away from that um poor me kind of victim mentality and you're walking into two ones realizing aha uh -huh, realizing your potential and uh, straight away i could see the five of uh, coins card five of pentacles and you would say what's that to do with it well five of pentacles is about resources i feel like you have realized that you have actually much more to offer you have more within yourself it feels like you have woken up finally <laughs> that's how i'm feeling it because one of the ones right here is stuck in the building but the second one you're going to use it there you are realizing i have i'm actually in better situation than i actually thought i am 
I have the same 24 hours as anyone else and I can use it and feels like you have like this kind of like like someone banged on your head hopefully not literally but feels like like you are waking up you phones is about passion it's about oof you know and yeah where are you going in fact two of wands interesting you're kind of like getting ready for that some sort of journey and two of wands is a similar card to emperor because look what he's do doing here he's holding the world here okay he's holding the world in his hands similar as emperor sits in his throne and ruling his empire you are becoming very powerful you're becoming very in charge and very assertive i have to say yay look at that with a bang we have six of wands feeling epic celebrate your little success celebrate your daily victories absolutely this is a card where the person is coming as if like this person is coming back from battle and is bringing back all the rewards um i feel like you are you are really back on a horse you're back on back on track okay interesting we have four of swords i want to clarify the four of swords because i have message here oh wow we have the death card here and two of swords yeah i'm feeling i've seen two roads here you know in it's like duality either you are doing full-time job and learning or studying something either you're starting side hustle um there's something like a two path going on and that's what i'm seeing with this card even though that doesn't the, the explanation doesn't mean but i'm touched the card and i straight straight away so there are two or um paths going maybe yeah look at that two cups how do you make that happen very interesting let me clarify something for some of you maybe you have been maybe single for some time okay and you are meeting a person it doesn't have to be romantically it could be any kind of type of relationship but i'm feeling like unexpectedly there is going to be either person or situation that will align alignment and when we speak about that privilege or birthrights that is the energy of alignment okay when you put things in the weights and they finally align what you have put in versus your rewards is going to match make sense because this is a card of feeling equal it could be as well that you have been struggling with colleagues with work and what for whatever reason you're finally either winning the battle for so i don't know how hopefully there is no war there but i'm feeling like you are finally feeling equal but i'm feeling here as well this is about thoughts and and and, and your mind i feel as well that you finally are matching what would you like to be that that imagination of how i see myself what i want to be doing and achieving somehow is actually materializing so it's kind of like mirroring makes sense to you i hope it does okay let's have a look what else is happening this week lots of stuff i have to say it's very personal things are making sense finally i feel like i have to, I have to say that um let's have a look we have ace of wands page of pentacles okay uh-huh okay oh right okay i see what is these cards talking about you have stumbled across or finally as i said there is this like weights or scales where your work what you have put in or your thoughts your time your energy is actually starting to bring some rewards or maybe you're seeing okay what i'm studying actually i can see myself doing it in day-to-day -day basis and actually make a good living and perhaps there's a great prospect of development and so on and so but even though now what you're doing what you're putting efforts in it's like there's like a second like a second you're getting the second wind 
And Page of Pentacles is a messenger. What you do, or some extras what you do, is materializing. Either money-wise or results. Maybe you're, I don't know, maybe you're transforming your body. And finally, after some time when you didn't see no results, actually they're now coming to to fruition okay you're seeing your improvement feel like there's some huge improvements financially and material in your material world and hence you feel like yes what i want or i have been putting into that vortex is finally matching because guess what your energy is matching that material and it's hence it's been delivered to you if you are down there and completely uh feeling like a loser or anything like that that higher energy but stuff is not going to reach you you got to come up i think you get that okay so i'm going to pull one more card someone said just i need to pull one more card which i will do mm -hmm. three and three and three okay here we go For you guys, I have to say, a lot of stuff doesn't come easy. Mm -mm. And you have to <laughs> sometimes march through some serious battles, like personal or financial or professional, to get where you want to. But now, it's matching. We were just talking about matching the three. Is this like, I feel seeing this um, in in the Keeper card, Keeper Tarot no, deck, there is this um unexpected wealth with where the sevens on the roulette or whatever it is something is gonna click something's gonna match number triple threes or whatever the number is what is your number because this is a card of now you are you cr you realize there is a resource that you could use you are already using it you're learning it pentacles you are making it more uh, tangible Things are happening. A lot of things are going to happen this week, guys. You're going to feel so full of beans. <laughs> Absolutely. This is good, though. It is, isn't it? Realizing your own potential. And it's manifesting. Absolutely. Let's have a look what angels would like to tell you right now. Or spirits, what um, they would like you to know right now. What you need to know. There. Yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. Isn't this interesting? We were talking about that um, birthright or eureka moment or light bulb moment. This is your light bulb moment when you are aligned, zoom, hum, or whatever. When you are aligned, when your energy aligns with what you want. You receive it. There. It's just kind of confirmation. There we go. Isn't this interesting? As above, so below. This is a card of magician as well. It's like making things align. As above, so below. Making that balance. Um, wow. It's very, very strong um, reminder. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, you finally nailed it. You finally nailed it. You match what you want and what you need. Your mindset, your attitude, your everything is matching it. Welcome to manifestation now. <laughs> Alrighty, so what a fantastic week it is indeed. Beautiful messages from angels and spirit as well. Indeed. Beautiful. Thank you so much for being here. Have a fantastic, fantastic week. And yes, if this feels like it gave you value to you, why don't you put the thumbs up? It really helps me and my channel grow as well. Until then, love and light and abundance. And I'll see you, guess where, in the next reading. Ta-da!